Hey everybody, it's Lewis and Robin with About That RV Life. Today we're going to be talking about the WineGuard Connect 2.0 system. There are two different types. There's a 4G capable one and then there's another one that is just a Wi-Fi signal booster. And we're going to go through ins and outs and the pros and cons of each. I'm gonna start off with the pros. Obviously, you know, being in a digital age, Wi-Fi is a big deal, especially for me. Um, I do a lot of work from home. So as we're camping and traveling, I need to have that Wi-Fi connection. So that's the number one, probably most important pro for me is, is making sure that I'm connected at all times. So check email, uh, text messages, you know, phone calls, you know, stuff like that. You know, yeah, another reason um, I like the uh, Wi-Fi connection is that, you know, a lot of times, you know, the weather sucks sometimes, you know, it's raining outside or it's snowing or just, you know, something's going on where, you know, you've got to keep the kids occupied. And a lot of times, you know what, it's just good to, you know, connect them to their normal programming and their normal shows. And sometimes when you have that Wi-Fi, if you're done, you know, exploring and you're done being out and about, then you got to be able to let them, um, you know, watch a movie or two. So for sure, entertaining the kids is a big one, keeping them busy. We have three little ones. We have an 11, and a seven-year-old, and a six-year-old. And they just, you know, they're constantly just keep going and going. They need something to do. We could go on and on about the things that we love about the WineGuard Connect 2 point system. But one of the things that we want to talk about today are some of the cons. And the first con is obviously that they are not easily accessible. They're attached to the roof of the unit and the SIM card inserts into the satellite itself. And so in order to put the SIM card in, you have to actually go up there. Every time that you need to reset the unit, you can usually just turn it off and then turn it back on and that'll fix most of your problems, just like with all of our electronics, you do a reset. But occasionally you have to do a hard reset and the only way to do that is to go up on the roof and there's a tiny little button behind a screwed in plate that you have to access in order to do that. And so that's kind of a pain in the butt too. The second con that I wanted to mention is that we don't always have good service. It runs on cellular service and AT&T is the, the carrier that we go through and occasionally you'll be in a spot where you just don't have service anyway, which I know you guys, you might be thinking that's actually a pro because when you're camping, you want to get away from the service and all of that. But like we talked about before, a lot of our camping is done while we're working, things like that. So we need to have connectivity. So it's kind of a bummer when you end up in a spot where there just is no cell signal anyway and so your wine guard system doesn't do that. The last thing that I wanted to mention about the cons is that if the wine guard system gets reset, let's say you're camping, you're dry dock camping and your batteries run dry, then the system is going to reset itself and when it does that, it actually will reset the the whole network. So if you had it named something like Valdez Hideout, which is what one of ours is called, it will reset it back to the um, factory settings of the name and all of the other settings. And so you have to go back in and refresh the settings. And sometimes you even have to update the system, which if this happens while well, a renter has the unit, it's really difficult. But for most people, you're using it by yourself and you're using it for personal use. So you have access to all of the information that you need. So one other pro that I thought about um, is being able to have Wi-Fi availability for our renters. We do have three units. We got a 2014 uh, Keystone Hideout. We got a 2021 Keystone Hideout. And this is our 2019 Grand Design. Uh, the two hideouts have the 4G capability. This one just has the internet booster. So there's a, there's kind of a difference that this one will connect with the Wi-Fi that's local and it'll boost it just so it gets to that extra strength. So with that, I charge um, a little bit extra for my rental. So it's an extra way to earn income or at least pay for the service. <laughs> a lot of people that rent them uh, are in the same situations where they have to work. If they're staying for a week at a certain place or working from the unit, so it's just an extra added benefit. And we honestly, we do get a lot of uh, people from the coast, from the Seattle area, that come out here and they want to camp, they want to relax, but they also want to get some work done. So the one thing that everybody's going to be asking, what do these things cost, right? And we could put this on the pros or the cons list. There are way more expensive things that you're going to purchase for your RV, but the WineGuard does not come in at a cheap cost. 
after installation and setup and everything, it's gonna be around $1,000, plus you're looking at a monthly fee for your service, depending on what you use. And so that is definitely something that fell into our category of investment on these units. Um, I think that if I think that if we weren't renting them out, we may not have invested in it right now. Um, but it definitely pays us back, so works around. And then the last the little pro that's extra special for me is being able to snuggle up with my ladder in our bed and being able to watch TV or our favorite shows, just like we do at home. Thanks for watching guys. If you're like us and you like adventure, you're new to RVing, are you just looking for tips and tricks when it comes to RVing, please consider subscribing. Give us a like, leave us some comments, check us out. See you later. Bye.